Hey, I have a top 10 questions which every person who is learning Tableau or who is an intermediate level in a Tableau may have this question. Okay, so let me start with a very basic questions and I'll take it through towards the uh, advanced level. So if you are um, a beginner level, if you are in a beginner level, so uh, what are the questions you may have? Okay, so I am so I'm just going to ask um, ChatGPT like I am a data analyst. Okay. Uh, what are the topics topics uh, which I should uh, know or I should learn in Tableau? Okay, so this is the very first question which I'm asking. So I am a data analyst. So what are the question? What are the important topics which I wanted to learn? So these are all things. So if you want to know about if you are a data scientist, so what are the things which you should know in data tableau? You can ask that question. So it is telling you that you have to, uh, you have to be very clear in data connection management, visual analytics, calculations, dashboards, and storytelling tableau server. Okay, so I'm going to ask an another question like. Um, tell me a case study uh, on Tableau or tell me a case study. So uh, ChatGPT will automatically understand that we are asking for Tableau only because previous question is about the Tableau. Okay, so it is telling us the case study that company X is a retail organization that sells clothing, shoes and accessories through its physical stores and online platform. So it is telling you a brief case study. So if you wanted to understand on any other specific domain, for example, if you want to know in hospital uh, management, okay, so you can just frame the question accordingly like this is not the third question okay so this is the second question like you can reframe how to um how to use tableau for a healthcare industry or how tableau is used in healthcare industry so if you just ask any specific domain based question so it they it will be telling you that uh, you can analyze the patient experience you can analyze the clinical quality measures healthcare cost analysis population health management healthcare operations analysis so all these are the idea which is given to us by chat gpt okay so our second question is over so the third question i'm going to ask uh, can you tell me a scenario okay so third question a scenario to use tableau so uh, anyhow no it is uh, somehow uh, um, same so real time real time scenario to use tableau so if you ask this question, so they will just add the real time scenario is like monitoring social media sentiment. OK, so social media, of course, every like every one of us are using social media, either through Twitter or Facebook or everything. So it is also telling us very clearly, like um, you can use that in the social media. This is like you can use the real time dashboard to display the sentiment analysis data from a social media platform. OK, so the first step you have to process and set up the connection and you have to analyze the sentiment and then the finally the sentiment analysis data can be visualized in a real time dashboard in the Tableau. Great. So let me go with the fourth question. Uh, what are the important uh, okay so let me just going to ask like i'm going to use the this uh, data set okay so i'm going to use this uh, covid data set so i'm just going to tell this i'm going to use the data set from Agile. okay a covid data set so what are the kpis okay kpis means key performance indicators uh, KPIs for the same. Okay, so I'm just using this the data set to uh, you have chosen contains uh, data on the number of confirmed. See, you can see the uh, data here. This is a day wise full group, the USA country, world meter, world meter, and country wise later. So it is showing that these are all the da uh, data which we have, and based on this, what are all the key performance indicator which we can show as what the total confirmed cases, total deaths, total res uh, recoveries, to uh, case fatality rate recovery rate uh, daily new cases so all these things you can do uh, keep it as a kpi okay 
okay so how to choose the important column so usually we will call it as a pc okay principal component analysis but anyhow you know like if you are uh, um, if you wanted to know like important columns from the above data set okay so if i ask how to choose an important column because you know like every data set may have multiple columns which a few columns may not be really useful for us so we are going to ask like what is the how to choose the important column so since uh, we asked how to choose okay so this is how we have to frame the question since we have how to use choose so it is telling us few uh, methodology like understand the data set identify the research question eliminate okay so i'm just going to again can you tell me uh, what is the research question for the above data set okay or else frame the research question so i am asking chat gpt to frame a research question so this is what the research question which is so these are all the questions which you can ask what is the impact of covid 19 on different countries and how has it evolved over time so what is the current and cumulative number of confirmed cases deaths so all these things which you can find it which you can infer great so if you take a covid 19 that is any disease so you can what you can do is what what is the current and cumulative number of confirmed cases deaths and recoveries in different countries how does the severity of the outbreak vary across the countries and regions and how has the pandemic affected different demographic groups such as age gender and ethnicity how have public health measures such as lockdowns and vaccination campaigns impacted the spread and the severity of the pandemic so chat gpt has framed a lot of question that is a research questions for you you have to design your dashboard or design you have to create a report for these questions great so we have almost we have asked uh, five questions so i'm going just going with a uh, sixth question uh, what are the reports i'm going to ask what are the reports uh, i can um, design so what are the reports i can design so i haven't mentioned anything for covid so it by default it is understanding so you can uh, create a global covid dashboard uh, report or a country specific report you can design you can design a comparison report you can design a trend analysis report you can design a risk analysis report so these are the few examples it is showing or other than that if you have anything in your mind so you can also do that okay it is giving us a top 5 report which you can generate great so and then what i can uh, do is what what charts i can use in the dashboard since i have uh, mentioned about the report so it is talking about the complete dashboard now i am going to ask what uh, uh, what charts and uh, graphs i can use okay so what are the charts and graphs i can use so there are various many uh, charts and graphs which you can use so line chart so in line chart what you can show show the trend of a particular variable over time for example you can use a line chart number of confirmed cases or death over time it's telling about that particular chart and also it is telling how you can use it in your scenario okay or else you can use this any one of these okay you can tell like i'm going to use a global i'm going to create a global covid 19 dashboard so what are the charts which i can what are the charts which i can create okay so you can choose any one of the dashboard from here okay any one of the report from here and you can ask for the question you can frame the question so all these things depends on how we can how we ask chat gpt okay and what type of story so because we have stories okay we will go to the stories uh, uh, later so i'm going to ask what are the important um, points uh, to design a good dashboard okay what are the important points to design a good dashboard so designing a good dashboards require a careful planning attention and the details so it is telling me what how to how to design a good dashboard define your audience and their needs choose the right visual keep it simple use color strategically ensure read accuracy test and refine tell a story okay so since it's uh, tell since it is telling me like uh, tell a story so i'm asking i'm asking what 
a story i can tell through the above data set okay so i'm asking what type of story i can design i can ask okay so global impact i can create a global impact story i can uh, create a time series analysis story i can create a demographic impact story I can create a comparing country story so these are all a uh, very few stories example which it is giving us but apart from that we can also diff, uh, we can also think of our own stories as well okay so i'm going to ask how to choose the correct right chart chart for the right data okay i'm asking how to choose the right chart for the right data choosing the right chart at the graph use bar graph to show the comparison use line charts to show the trends over the time use scatter plots to show the relationship use pie charts to show proportions or percentage so when to use what okay like histograms in the sense what how to you have to use and use heat map to define what okay so all these questions which we can ask with chat gpt so if you wanted to just go in detail for example since we have asked for the different type of reports like like it shows about the dashboard so uh, you can even ask like i i am going to design a global covid dashboard okay i am going to or what are the kpis global covid dashboard so it will go in detail for that particular dashboard and it will show you what are all the things which you can uh, do and also you can write can you show the calculation in tableau can you show the calculations because we have calculations in tableau as well can you show the calculations uh, for the above kpis okay so these are all the calculations so total confirmed like what is the calculation sum of confirmed cases for all countries divided by region so these are all the calculations which you can use it which you can write it in your tableau so how you ask chat gpt so based on that the chat gpt will respond back to you i hope you find this video useful if you have any other questions to ask Ch um, chat gpt regarding any of the technology leave your comment i'll be helping you out thank you take care bye bye